Welcome back to Pilar and the unboxing and review of the Mech Strike Monster Hunters Loki action figure from Hasbro. This figure came out in 2022. It was made in Vietnam. So as we can see, this is a monster version of Loki. Seems to be some kind of moth slash mantis kind of thing. Not a huge fan of that choice, but he does look menacing. So it does look like a monster and a bad guy. Picked this up from Ross for $3.99. Uh, he had the retail as $11 or so. All right, let's unbox them. This is really just kind of cutting them out of this <laughs> um, package here. As you can see, you definitely see what you can get. It's kind of nice. But no box. You definitely see what action figure you're getting. Uh, all right, I think he's just tied in, it looks like. Yeah. Put these big monster hands out of the way. What else we got here? Um, Touch back here as well. I get them both now. There we go. And his legs and feet are attached. All his feet are attached. Okay. No, no escape for Loki. Got him out of here so we can take a look. All right. So as you can see, he has these wings that actually do something. Not much, but they do something. So you can make them fly. What do you call this? A monster wing attack. So. Like in those old monster movies, that would create huge gusts of wind, I'm sure. So he has a lever here. You just pull it down. Monster wing attack. And it seems pretty durable, which is nice. Yeah, it's manual, but that's fine because it works. Uh, how's this guy look overall? That was a weird cinder thing. I don't think that does anything. So I do like, I kind of like the face. Is that smirk on there? Got the red eyes. Just not a huge fan of like really any kind of insect crossovers. I'm not a insectoid fan that much. Um, got these huge hands. It looks like they hold nothing, but you know, uses magic. And who cares? And he has a swing attack, so he doesn't need to hold anything. Got the monster feet. So just green, yellow, some blue, and the red on the eyes. And these like translucent wings you can see through. But really, for four bucks, it's a pretty good action figure. If you need a bad guy action figure, this guy looks like a bad guy. You pretty much can tell it's Loki, I think. Or you would maybe that would cross your mind. Uh, unfortunately, his picture's covered up. Here we go. Well, there's the art for it. All right, so his boots would be a different color. That's all. You have a green, looks like they would be like the silver or clear blue. Uh, also, this is not blue. So, minor details, and for four bucks, so 11 bucks seems a little bit maybe too much for this guy because he doesn't come with anything. I mean, he does this, but plus, he can't hold anything, it looks like. <laughs> Uh, not much articulation for these guys at all. Uh, no joints, no knee or elbow joints. Um, this is supposed to look menacing anyway, you know. Stands well. Got those big monster feet. I am a big fan of being able to set, set them down quickly and they stand and I don't have to do this for five minutes. <laughs> that really gets on my nerves. Um, yeah, not bad. I think the best part is probably the face. I do like the way the helmet looks. The smirk exposed. I guess. Let me see something. Yeah, this green hair. 
swooping, swooping there from the wind, from flying around. Oh, oh, you can move these. Okay, so that's nice. So you put them down. So the wings are down. You can put them up. Click into place pretty nicely. Let's see. And that's as high as they go. Okay, I do like that. Makes it a little bit better. So we'll put the wings down. One standing. That's a like cape effect in the back. So, yeah, I am satisfied with that purchase. Four dollars for Mech Strike Monster Hunters Loki. So, if you like this kind of stuff, please hit that like button, smash that like button, uh, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. And thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.